Okay, I just want to do a quick video on these fellas here, the old video transitions. Uh, I see a lot of questions about people asking how you use them because when they try to drag one under their timeline like this, nothing happens. And it's a very common and very easy mistake to make. And basically, what's happening is that you've got nothing here that you can use for your transition. If you bring your cursor to the end of the clip, it will change to this little pointy arrow thing. If you click your clip, you get a red line and the same on the other side. What that tells you is that that's the very end of the clip. And to form a transition, what you're basically doing is you're fading out one clip on a very basic level and you're fading in the other clip. So as we play along, this will fade out, this will fade in. Thus, it's very long and very slow because I've overlapped quite a lot. But you get the idea. Now for that to happen, you need to have frames from both clips that Resolve can work with. When you have your two frames plotted together, as we did at the start, there's nothing for Resolve to work with. If it's automatic transitions. So all you need to do is if you bring your player to the middle and press option and scroll your mouse wheel you'll zoom into your timeline now if you come to the edge of your first clip press and hold it's red at the minute if you then drag back say half a dozen frames or more however much you want really but however many frames you choose is how many frames resolve has to work with if you then go to the start of your second clip and again you've got your red line Press and hold and drag back, say 12 frames. If you now put these two together, what you have here, but you can't see, so if I just drop this up a minute, if you press and hold, you see the little white box appears, which tells you that there's hidden frames. And if you do the same on the bottom clip, again, you've got your little white box showing you hidden frames. Now what that's doing is it's effectively making the overlap that I did manually a second ago. So now when you bring the transition in, it will drop on. And you can now play through your transition. So Resolve is taking the unseen clips from here and the unseen clips from here and working with them in this transition. And that's basically all there is to solving that very common uh, beginner difficulty. So just moving this back out of the way a minute, you can see that the transition disappears because we've moved the frames. The other thing to note, again, for the beginners in professional terms, this little white box with the hidden frames is the handles that you keep hearing people talk about. When we talk about a clip having handles, it's these invisible frames. It's these frames that aren't used other than for things like transitions. So your white box is your handles. The other way you will get handles with these two clips. In the first instance, I just dragged them on the timeline. So the full clip came onto the timeline and there were no handles. And so you had the difficulty with the transition. So the other way to get handles, if we just take those off the timeline, is if we close the inspect because we're not using it. Go to view, dual view. If you double click in your media folder, it opens your image in the source window. If you just play forward a few frames, set an in point, and set an out point, 
and then just drag your video onto your timeline, that will automatically give you your handles because you've not used all the clip. You've only used a part of it and the parts that you haven't used are still available to resolve but they're just not seen. So again, if you click either end, you've now got a green box with your handles. And if you pull it over, you can see you've actually got quite a lot of handle there. So if you've got a, a responsive transition, and what I mean by that is a transition that you can vary the length of, you've got a lot of room to play with. So again, just play in three frames in come to somewhere near the end, out, and drag it in. You've again automatically got handles, and you can drag your transition straight on, and it will work. And that's it. Hope that was helpful. Hope it was useful. Uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and see you on the next one. Cheers.